So I'm going to show you some games played in the live PC engine. Just going here to the list of the live PCs that I've created. You can see I put together a couple games. So I'm going to start off with uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion. So I just go ahead and I open up the live PC I made. And you can see our engine pops up right here. And here is the Elder Scrolls Live PC. So I just start that up. And I'm just going to maximize it. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game. All of these games are using Direct3D. So there's Direct3D acceleration specifically for the Live PC engine. So the engine will actually use the graphics features that your fancy Smancy graphics card has available to it. Even though, in general, virtual machines can only support simple 2D graphics. usual mix up at the watch. I never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. No sign of us. Stay put, prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You are deceiving you. It's okay. I think I can do it. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the... Alright, so that was Elder Scrolls Oblivion. I'll just power it off. So now I'm going to show you fear. So you can actually run in windowed mode or in full screen mode. And in this case, I'm going to run in windowed mode. Uh, it's actually full screen inside the gas, but that's going to stay in a window here. So I won't maximize it. So I'm just going to go and run the 
little performance benchmark. This game is a pretty new engine, so it uses a lot of advanced DirectX 9 features. The graphics card will actually be reported to the game as being called a Mocha Sizzle 3D Accelerator. This is just the wrapper name that hides the real car's name from the virtual machine. Might let us in the future be allow you to suspend and resume games in the middle. That's the end of that test. So while you're inside the actual 3D VM, you can still hit Control Alt to escape out. And in this case, I'm just going to power off the virtual machine. So now let's try out Test Drive Unlimited. And I saved this one in full screen mode so it automatically maximized itself. Now I'm just going to launch that game. See the icon is just right over there. Your itinerary is being recalculated. So I'm just going to go ahead and quit this one now. I saw that.